Could the American dream be about to end, Harry and Meghan? <laughs> Experts claim they have failed in Hollywood and they're about to run out of money. Let's Tell us more to... is Royal Biographer Tom Bauer. Tom, of course, I'll try not to grin. Good man. Uh, how much financial trouble do you think that odious pair could be in? My opinion, by the way, odious. Well, I, I, I think, good morning, I don't think it's immediate. They're not about to have to give up uh, milk deliveries. But I do think that when you're mocked, so publicly as they've been, their value begins to nosedive pretty quickly. And I don't think they're finding any more sources of income. And with the uh, stream of money they're spending on security, on mortgages, on just plain living, I think they can see the end of the road within five years at best. And uh, they've got a real financial problem now. But they've had a few misfires, haven't they? Whether it was their podcast, <laughs> the relationship they had with Spotify, but it has to be said some successes, you know, their relationship with Netflix. Where do you think it's slightly gone wrong in terms of what they thought they'd be able to offer to kind of the American public and they haven't actually been able to deliver? Well, the problem is all they can offer the American public is to trash our British royal family. No. Oh, no. And uh, their real problem now is that they're going to have to <coughs> find a new act and they just can't find one. They've got nothing to deliver other than themselves and they're not particularly interesting anymore. Well, there's things I, like I, the Invictus I, games. Can, can I, the there Invictus are other things they yeah. have to offer. I, I heard JJ and Nisi Obi last night take you to task and say you have no idea about what's happening in Hollywood, that she signed for a new agent and is waiting. I would respectfully suggest that the dream that those two had has unravelled spectacularly, Tom, wouldn't you? Absolutely. And I, I must say, uh, Jeremy, I predicted it uh, a year and two years ago. They, she is a, a, a low-class actress, a soap actress. He has nothing other than Oh, we keep battling with the line. I'm so what a shame. But unfortunately, uh, there's nothing more to deliver. I think low-class actor... I mean, Suits has been... You know, Netflix were forced to have to reveal how many people have been watching shows. Suits has been one of the most successful shows on the platform for Netflix because people are really interested, in part, because Meghan Markle's in it. Let, let, let's, just go, let's just go back to something Tom said that I think. And, 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 and I... I, I repeat, Tom, what I said to you and I've been saying for two years. When they decided to walk away from the bubble that is the British royal family, I was very vocal. You do that, you absolutely do that, good for you. Go and have your life. But you cannot marry that to, I'm going to make $100 million, forget my privacy and slag off the only thing that's given me any credibility in the first place. That's the problem. Leave the royal family. Be in suits, be in films, do whatever, but you can't have your cake and eat it, can you, Tom? You're absolutely right, but the problem is that she isn't a great actress. She, her acting career ended long before she arrived in London. That's why she came here. She couldn't find any more work after Suits. And the only thing she has got left, and I think that is her potential gold mine, is her autobiography. Uh, she has a very, very vivid imagination, and she'll be able to sit, spell out an amazing story of stuggery and sensation to, uh, to increase her income. But in terms of honest employment, I think they do, both of them, have a huge problem. Their endorsements are really not worth anything anymore. And that is why people are rightly saying they face a financial problem. And I think the American dream, for, for your point, Rosie, is also massively important because America has always been, for all its fluff, they're quite intoxicated by the British royal family. I think Tom has a point that the minute you make your career out of slagging that off, you should hear what Kinsey says, you're in trouble. We'll watch it. I mean, Tom, this will go down like a lead balloon with my critics. I said five years ago to me old man before he passed, he'll be back within ten years with his tail between his legs and she'll be in California with two kids. I don't believe it'll work, but I could be massively, massively wrong. Well, I don't think they're going to divorce, and I don't think at the moment anyway, and I don't think he's on his way back either, not least because he hasn't got anywhere to live. Their real problem is one of credibility. Yeah. Uh, they can cultivate the photo opportunity as much as they like, but they don't have any credibility anymore as uh, serious people who really would um, attract major sponsors. Uh, so they're just an irritation for us. That